Hey guys, so lip care is an aspect of skincare that often gets overlooked, however, it's very important. Now our lips, unlike the skin on the rest of our bodies, do not produce any melanin. And melanin is a pigment that gives our skin color, but it also provides our skin with a little bit of protection from UV rays from the sun. And since our lips don't produce any melanin, they're especially vulnerable to things like skin cancer. Now, the way that I approach lip care is very similar to the way that I approach skincare in general. You should split it up into two different routines. You should have an AM routine and you should have a PM routine. Now, the AM is very simple. You need to be using a lip balm or a chapstick with a little bit of sunscreen every single day. My all-time favorite brand is just the simple, uh, the blue chapstick. Now, the blue one is best because it has SPF of 15. Um, it's moisturizing and it does not have a shiny finish. Now the shiny finish thing is important because A, I don't want my, skin, my lips to be shiny like a female would, and B, when you do have a very shiny finish on your lips, it actually attracts more UV rays, which in the long term does more damage. And interesting, interestingly enough, excuse me, um, in the world of dermatology, we're seeing a large increase in the cases of skin cancer in lips because females are wearing these very, very glossy um, sheens on their lips. They do not have sun protection. It's attracting UV rays, therefore leading to more skin cancer. Not a good thing because when it comes to skin cancer, the only way to um, take care of it is to cut it out. And I don't think anyone wants to cut out a big chunk of their lips. So definitely consider wearing sunscreen every single day on your lips with a very inexpensive product such as this. Now, when I buy these, I buy multiples of them and I kind of just leave them everywhere so I don't forget them. But the most important thing about getting the habit of using it is the habit itself. Whether it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, whatever, you still need to put it on every day. Not only will you have nice hydrated lips, but you'll be sure that you are protecting it from the UV rays. Now, at nighttime, just like skincare, we don't need the sunscreen because uh, we want to enhance the repair process which our body goes into as we sleep. And sunscreen can be a little bit irritating to our skin sometimes. However, during the daytime, it, the benefit of the sunscreen outweighs the irritation. So at night, since there is no UV, we can cut it out completely and then that way we'll be having no irritation. I really like this product by Vaseline. It's just their original lip therapy and it comes in a little tub which isn't my favorite but since I'm the only one using it it's not a big deal. This stuff it's very smooth you just slap it on at night and you can be very generous with it and you wake up in the morning and your lips are hydrated they're not dry or cracked or anything. Now for me I like to have the fan blowing on me at night and that's definitely a reason you want to use a product like this because otherwise your skin is going to get very very dry if you don't protect it. Now some brands like uh, Blistex and Carmex, they claim that their products are medicated. And I want to bring attention to this because it used to fool me, but it doesn't fool me anymore. When I saw medicated on these products, I was thinking that somehow it was going to heal my lips more than, say, this one would. However, when they're talking about medicated, they're simply talking about an analgesic, something that relieves pain. Um, so that way, if your lips are like, if you have a cold sore, if they're very dry and it hurts, the medicated will help relieve the pain, but it's not going to help relieve the um, symptoms that you're having any faster than any other chapstick would. So just take a look at that next time. That, I used to always purchase the medicated ones because I was thinking that it was better somehow than the other ones, but really what it meant medicated was that it's a pain reliever, not something that's gonna heal your lips better than any other chapstick. So pretty much the same, then they put in things like menthol and other things to make it feel like it's working, when really it's not doing anything special. Um, there is another aspect to lip care and that's exfoliating. Just the way that we exfoliate our face, we can also exfoliate our lips. And the best way to do that to get really nice smooth um, lips is to use a mechanical exfoliant. So a scrub or a washcloth, you can always just take a washcloth and put a little bit of your facial cleanser on here and then just scrub your lips like that. That'll definitely do a good job of taking off all the dead skin cells and revealing young, fresh, new, um, smooth cells. Or you can use a scrub made specifically for your lips. This is one by Paul's Choice. It's their lip exfoliant. And it's just a very, very fine scrub. And you, I just do it on the shower, just kind of rub on my lips and rinse it off. And it definitely does a good job at revealing nice, smooth skin. However, a washcloth does just as good of a job. 
After that, you definitely want to make sure that you follow up a little bit of um, lip balm or chapstick just to kind of uh, lock in any hydration. All right, guys, so that is the importance of lip care. Hope you learned something new today. Take care.